Welcome back, everybody. It's been a while, but once again, we're back, and it's Shit Face Saturday. Well, for the first time in over a month, you guys, well, almost a month, right? Yeah, it's like three days shy of the month. But fuck it. Birthday edition. Yep. This man is turning, what, 38? Thank you. Oh, I got that right? No, I'm 38 now. Oh, you're 38 I'll now? Be- Turned 39 in a couple days. I knew it was right one way or another, so fuck it. I'm becoming <coughs> a very old man, so for this episode, a bottle of very old, uh, very old Barton, hunter proof. So we gotta go hard since we're back. And this shit's been sitting in the freezer for what two months now? Oh, about two months. Yeah. We yeah. Just, he <laughs> saw it, and he's like, "I gotta pick it up." For the- oh! Woo! Get up. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure, as y'all just seen, that little fucking fuck up. But I guess that's a good way to start back on Shit Face Saturdays, you guys. Hey, just to let y'all know, fat bitch next door fell down the stairs, and that's what caused everything to happen. Yeah, so thank God for earthquakes, right? Exactly. So fuck it. Let's get down to business. All right. Oh. Well. We haven't, Southern even, Blend. we haven't even introduced ourselves yet, man. Oh, as always, I'm Phallus Motherfucking Rex. And I am the Anime Dipper, and welcome back once again with some Copenhagen in our lips. Mm. Now, we got a lot of shit we can talk about. Not sure how much we're going to get to, so we ain't going to talk about spoilers of what you might not catch. But, let's start off with a toast to one of the most beautiful women on the planet, whose birthday happens to be today. Stephanie McMahon! (sighs) Keep working out, you sexy, sexy devil. Uh Uh-huh. Is it, is it Vixen? Vixen's the word for it? Yeah. Saucy bitch. Mm-hmm. Fresh crack. That smells like somebody I'm very familiar with. Oh, God. This smells like Mr. Jimmy Bean. It smells just like Mr. Jimmy Bean. It smells delicious. That's what it smells like. Alright, now while I'm pouring this, let me catch up to date on what's been going on. Uh... Two weeks ago, Anime and myself went to the warehouse, saw our boys in the Artifice play, and I'm not going to lie, people, this may come as a shock to most of y'all, but I got fucking white girl wasted that night. That he did. I'm surprised he wasn't yawning groceries after all that he drank and all that he ate. I'm surprised I didn't get a concussion after his fucking wife looked on the online banking statement and saw all, how much I spent. <laughs> uh, no, I tried to stop you, but you're like, no, I'm good, man. I was good. I was a you rare one. more than good, man. Stephanie, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to me. Champions coming up. Yep, that's not Clash. No, it's not uh, Night of Champions. It's Clash of the Champions. It's Raw exclusive freaking uh, WWE pay per view. Throwback to the old WCW days. The only difference is they took the off the title. Way to go, WWE creative. Woo! Fuck yeah, man. But now, anyway, right here on www.philly.com. Sponsor us. We have the rundown of the matches in the order they predict them to be in and their own predictions. And to kick off the show, you're going to see Nia Jax, Big Samoa Bitch, versus Alicia Fox, Tall Skinny Coco Bitch. 
And what do you think of that on that one? I gotta go Nia Jax, man. I I will as well, and that's what the guys at Philly have predicted. I mean, that's like saying a freaking coconut versus a marshmallow. Yeah, that's like putting a fucking. That's like sticking Pee Wee Herman in a match against Aki Bono. Exactly. You already know the fucking outcome. Naya, we're not saying you're as big as Aki Bono. Please do not unleash your wrath on us. We love you. Please don't hurt us. Now, the next match I have here is the final of the Best of Seven series, Cesaro and Sheamus. Oh. Now, they've been tied up. Like, at first, it was only... It was Sheamus with three, and then freaking uh, Cesaro got back up with three. So I have to give this one to Sheamus, actually. Yeah. That's what the guys in Philly have, Sheamus over Cesaro. Me, I'm going to go a different way with my prediction, and I'm picking I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm sick of these two fucking fighting. They have fought for a very long time. It's as fucking monotonous as the goddamn Baron Corbin fucking Dolph Ziggler bullshit. But the good thing about this is whoever wins this match gets a title opportunity. Well, don't, another good don't thing about for what title, but for a title opportunity. Well, another good thing about this match is actually both fucking competitors actually have fucking talent. That they do. I mean, you can't. Baron, really... you're a fucking beast. Your character is. You need to work on your fucking ring skills, man. Come on. Why are you talking about Barrett? This is. I said Baron. No, Baron? Baron Corbin. I'm, ta I'm talking about the differences between the two. Yeah, I know. Don't derail my train. I'm not trying to. <laughs> it's just we're talking about Seamus and Cesaro, not freaking Ziggler and Corbin. I know, and I picked, I don't give a fuck because of the monotony of the fucking shit. Just like with the Baron Corbin doll thing. Whatever, about that boy. Stay in your lane. Go for it. <laughs> don't you fucking. <laughs> don't you fucking dab on my show. <laughs> All right, next match on the list. We got the Ginger Ninja, Sami Zayn. Woo! Versus Y2 fucking gay. I mean, Jay. I mean, he is the GOAT. This stuff, I haven't, I haven't got to see any Raw or SmackDown lately because of my old work schedule, which I got a new one, so I'm going to be able to catch up on the shit. But does he still have the shit staying right here? I think he does. Oh, fucking A. Now, I'm going to fucking say, I got to go with Zayn on this just because Jericho's going to break a hip in the next six months. I don't know. They might make this to where it's a really long feud. Was that you? Yeah. That was okay. I thought we were about to have another motherfucking avalanche. I don't know. They might set this up for a pretty good feud. So, we're just going to have to see how it goes. I'm really going for Jericho because if the heel gets over, then freaking okay. it's going to be a freaking good ride for a while. I'll say this. Regardless who wins, Zayn is going to have so much fucking heat after this match. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, as much as I fucking hate his character, you know, Jericho's the first ballot Hall of fucking Famer. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm surprised he's not in there yet. Really. But, I mean... Um, little side note. I was checking other websites for these matches and shit and predictions. And there was one, there was a rumor going around that Goldberg was going to make an appearance Sunday night. It was also rumored for freaking, uh, what was it? Um, the last pay-per-view backlash, wasn't it? I think so, but, um, but according to this article, Goldberg is on the short list for Hall of Fame nominations this coming year. That is true. Also, it would be really good because freaking WWE 2K, 2K17 is also coming out in uh, 17 days from when we're recording this. And if you pre-order the game from GameStop, you get to play as Goldberg. So that would be kind of a win -win. Hey, just so just so y'all know, any of y'all viewers out there feel like sending, you know, old Fallis a birthday present, PlayStation 4 would be fucking awesome. Was just that, saying. Just saying. I mean, I ain't saying. I'm just saying. I'm just, he's just saying. All right, next match. We got the Raw Tag Team Champions of the World. Don't you dare be sour. Clap your hands and revel in the power of the new WWE Tag Team Champions, the club. I will agree with that. Freaking, the New Day has a lot of freaking 
popularity behind them, but they've held that title for too fucking long, man. Is it just me or does it seem like here in the last few months, Xavier Woods constantly has a tampon in? It does. He is so fucking bitch made. I don't like. I like the. Fuck- I, I can understand the bitch made part with the fucking with the Wyatts. Yeah, but it's it's the club. I mean, it is what it is. I did like like I'm gonna say this about the club right now. The doctor gimmick is kind of getting a little oh. bit old. It was really funny with the ring post status. But yeah. Now, but now that they don't have that anymore, now that Big E's back, it's it's. It's kind of stale. Mm-hmm. But if they did the ring post status thing again, but made it a little bit different, I would still be entertained by it. Oh, yeah, because that was nuts. Mm. Oh, are you sure? You seemed a little bit testy about it. I bought my eyes out when I saw it happen. Mm. But, anyways, <laughs> asking up on that, I think, my, I think my mother just fucking puked over there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, fuck. God damn, she got something on me. Alright, now, let's get to the big, I mean, the cruiserweights. <laughs> I mean, I said the bitches, but no, these motherfuckers are badass. T.J. Perkins against, say it right, THE Brian Kendrick. THE Brian Kendrick. Not just Brian Kendrick. And don't look back to ROH and call him Spanky. No, 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 no. It's THE, the motherfucker, motherfucker Brian, Brian Kendrick. Kendrick. Now, I love to see Kendrick on the freaking... Uh, main fucking roster. Again. Again. Like, it's freaking... Like, it's... How long has it been since he's actually been back? Uh, it's been about six years since he's been back in WWE. And it's a, it's awesome to see him back. It's been about four years since he... I've seen him wrestle on television. Because the last time I saw him, he was in TNA. Yeah. But anyway, glad to have you back. The Brian Kendrick. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, how many fucking... 40-year-old man can still rock a cruiserweight division. Exactly. I would say Styles probably could. Yeah, if he dropped about 15 pounds. Yeah, maybe. 15 pounds. Maybe maybe 15. Yeah, he might be about 240 now, so maybe 25. 240? He's not 240. Oh, man, he's starting to fucking bulk up, man. He's just a year younger than me. He made his WWE. He's a WWE rookie at 36. That is true. You know, I mean, come on now. Who knows? Either way... It's going to be a good match between both of them. i got to give it to the Brian Kendrick for winning this. I'm just going to say because it's a new title and it's the first defense, TJ Perkins. The guys at Philly here say Perkins will retain. But another site that I looked at said not to be fucking surprised if Braun Strowman comes out and just smashes both of them. Oh, God. If Brian... If Strowman just comes out there and bees a monster, holy shit. I mean, fuck. The last match I saw him do on fucking Raw, it was a fucking jobber from whatever city they were in, a local wrestler. And that motherfucker didn't look like he, looked like he could barely make the cruiserweight division. I mean, he fucking little bitty motherfucker. So if Strowman does come out there, all I got to say is, WWE Creative, my bird will be doing this. Mm-hmm. Now, next match on the card. Rusev defending the U.S. title against Roman Reigns. Here we go. Does anybody even need to hear our predictions? I probably not. Because anybody with half a brain knows that Roman's going to take this. He's fucking done his penance for fucking up the wellness policy. And, yeah, they're, they're putting him back in. I mean, if the slight chance that Rusev actually does retain this title. I mean, I don't I don't see how they can progress the story anymore. So unless fucking Roman just fucks Lana dirty right in her ass with a barbar condom and then wipes his dick on Rusev's pillow. Exactly. So there you go. Reigns, don't let us down. And a little postscript to that. We'll never see that happen because it's not the Attitude Era anymore. <laughs> In the Attitude Era, shit. They had to show Ray's fucking her dirty and wiping his dick on the pillow. <laughs> but next match, we got the Triple Threat Diva or Women's Title Match. Charlotte versus The Boss. My boo. Love you, girl. And Bailey, who... 
just seems mildly retarded. I'm sorry. Her character just seems mildly retarded. I always wanted to come up and hug everybody. Like, I will give it's it... It's like the WWE just branched off into the Special Olympics. Like, I'll give it to her. Like, in NXT, she was more of an underdog. And did, she, did she hold the freaking NXT Women's title for a while? She beat Sasha for it. Exactly. So... But, I mean, I mean, Bailey, you fine and all, but... Just try to make your character not so downsy. You know, kick someone in the tit and make it go all sil- silicone everywhere. I mean, come on. Something. Yeah, something. You know, get mean, goddamn. But I really want to see... Freaking... I would like to see Bailey actually grab the title, but I know it's not going to happen, so it's going to the boss. Damn, Skippy Hippie. Next match. We have... In the main motherfucking event, KO, Kevin Owens defending that new Universal title. The <coughs> butt looks like shit. <coughs> yeah, right, man. Yeah, I had something in my throat. <laughs> I hate that belt. I'm uh, just saying. I'm not saying, but I'm just saying. Yeah, the, well, let's talk about that for a minute. You know, I remember the last time the brands were split. You know, Raw had the WWE title that John Cena fucked up putting that spinner bullshit on there. I liked the spinner when I was younger, but now that I'm a little bit older... I it has some common sense? I have a lot of common sense. Yeah. But still, the belt was kind of ruined by that, and I like that they put the regular freaking seal of the WWE back on the title. Wasn't it Randy Orton that freaking changed the title back? Mm-mm. When Randy Orton had both titles, and then he lost to fucking who? I think John Cena. And then when The Rock beat John Cena, The it Rock. It was The Rock. Yeah. The Rock unveiled the world title, the WWE World Heavyweight Title. You know, but in the original brand split, Raw had the fucking spinner belt, and SmackDown had the old WCW World Title, and that fucking belt was pimp as shit. I love that belt. Like, I don't know why WWE decided to go just with a carbon copy of fucking the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Paint it fucking... I don't even know what color fucking red that is. Like, period stain red. And fucking... And you don't believe me? Ask Jonah Hill when he filmed Superbad. Exactly. But, I mean, god dang. Like, come on. Like, WWE, props for you spreading the brands, but... The name on its own was fucking stupid. The Universal title? Well, the WWE Universe. Well, still, I mean, it's just kind of out there. You know, and I fucking ranted about this on countless shows about wanting to bring the TV title back. Mm -hmm. Why not do a play off of that and instead of a TV title, have a WWE Network Championship and every month that belt is defended on an exclusive match for WWE Network. That would be good. And you since, fuckers are fucking up. And since the Cruiserweight title's on Raw, that would go to SmackDown. No, give SmackDown a TV title. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, at fucking WWE Network title, defend it. On, only on the network. Not on Raw. Not on SmackDown. And have this fucker bounce back and forth between show and show. That, you, you could develop some great storylines with that. That would be kind of controversial with what they're doing right now. But I would see if... Like, maybe later on, maybe a year from now, doing that. But not at the time, because the brand split literally <coughs> just happened a few months ago. They're still building up speed with both brands so I mean it would be good in a year maybe a year and a half at the most but right now they have even titles so let them let them build up that train and then freaking boom you the freaking network title okay so how much raw have you watched since I've been working I've watched uh I need to watch the this week's over again but I'm pretty I'm pretty caught up pretty much all right, so I will defer to you on this because I just read about a while ago. The whole Seth Rollins face turn. 
Yeah, I've been seeing it, and it, it's just really weird to see it because I mean, Rollins is a fucking great heel. Yeah. Like you like, but the two best heels that I see on the the WWE universe right now, AJ Styles, a really fucking good heel, and fucking Seth Rollins. You can I don't know why they're trying to change him like that, but either way, I. Oh. I, I, I honestly believe that if it wasn't for, if he'd never blown out his knee, yeah, we'd never saw this. But yeah. the crowds pop when he came back at fucking. Uh, uh, wasn't it a uh, SummerSlam? No, the one for Money in the Bank. Oh fuck, I don't know. The Battleground. Battleground. I think that's what it was. When he came in and fucked up Rollins and Ambrose, like. At first, I was expecting the face. I was just expecting him to be face. Or no, Rollins and... It was Rollins and AJ. It was just supposed to be face. But now he's developed this freaking heel. And he's such a fucking good heel. I don't know... Like, I would understand if he went into an injury and fucking did, like, did the whole fucking finding yourself thing and fucking bullshit like that. But I don't see why they're making a face turn... Right in the middle of a fucking title turn. Because my my thoughts on this are, it was all the crowd reaction when he fucking made his when he came back, and the next night on Raw, you know he was. They tried to keep him a heel. They tried. You know, he at first in his interview on Raw, he was like, blah 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 blah. blah. And then all of a sudden, fuck you, people. I don't need your bullshit. Well, but, either way, you know. Uh, did what? What was the whole fucking reason for Triple H fucking it over? Anyways, I have never heard that reason yet. I honestly don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head. We'll get back to that. But let's break it down. We got two of probably the best workers in SmackDown or Raw right now. Definitely. And KO, who like his fucking gimmick or not, the motherfucker makes fucking puts asses in seats. He does his. His gimmick, he does it 100% well, and I mean, you, you can't really top it, because that's who he is. Like, You know, he reminds me a lot with his attitude of a Bam Bam Bigelow. I do see it, but I still don't see it, because he doesn't have the shaved head and tattoos on his fucking head. You don't need shaved head and tattoos for an attitude. I know, but it'd be looking cool. But, his first... <laughs> Real title defense on a pay-per-view. I'm going with KO. I really want to go with KO on this, but I have to go with Ro- Roman. Not Roman. Fucking Rollins on this. <laughs> Roman's been in so many fucking title matches. What'd right? you say to me while ago, man? We only had one shot? I know. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> but still... I mean, it's probably a hoe, too. Yeah. It's my wife, y'all. Could carry on. <laughs> but still, I really think they're going to give the title to Rollins. If they don't, it'll be good to see Owens actually carry on with the title, even though the thing looks like shit. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, fucking Becky Lynch's title, man. I'm surprised they didn't have a fucking tampon hanging off that motherfucker. I mean, fuck. I, <laughs> don't even get me started. <laughs> like, all these titles that they have... <clears throat> That's the the tag team titles are just fucking the raw titles in blue and silver. Blue and silver. Shut up, that's gonna look color. <laughs> look good on the cowboys, not on a fucking belt. Turn that thing on a fucking vibrator side. Bam. Vibrate. Good. Alright, now. Next I really didn't think it was this big of a story. Until I just got a fucking news briefing alert on the phone. To all you cocksuckers out there dressed up as clowns trying to grab little fucking kids. Stop it. You're fucking up my Halloween. I was going to be a psycho clown. Now if I go trick or treating, I'm getting fucking shot. Exactly. Yes. You ruin it for everyone, people. And it just takes one asshole to fuck it up for everybody. And then with that one asshole... You got all these fucking 5,500 dingleberries going to fucking imitate. Because you know if you see an asshole, you're going to see a dingleberry. Mm-hmm. Unless you're watching a porno. 
And then it's all bleached and shit. But we'll get to that later. Come on, once I got bleached ass out. Uh, that's what I'm saying. We'll get to that later. <laughs> now, I know what day it is. It's shit face Saturday. But, if anime doesn't mind, I want to delve off into something. Because it's my birthday. I can fucking do what I want. <laughs> I want to go off on my little whiny whiskey rant right now. And I'm getting older. And it fucking sucks. You wake up in the morning. You can't piss in one direction. I wake up in the morning. I'm pissing on the ceiling, the both walls, the fucking floor, the cat, and everything but the goddamn toilet bowl. Now, I'm worried about you now. You really fucking cat. You know... And, honestly, when I get out of bed, it sounds like goddamn Rice Krispies. There's a bunch of snapping, crackling, popping, a lot of cussing. Uh, guys, we joke about ladies as they get older, because when gravity takes, shit takes fit. But we need to stop, really. Because it happens to us, too. And you don't know about gravity until you have sat on your balls. And it will happen, motherfuckers. Believe that. You will sit on your balls. And what's even worse? Yeah, keep laughing, my young motherfucker. What's worse is sitting on your balls? Because, yeah, you may weigh 180 pounds, but when you're sitting down, gravity is taking effect. Physics come into this goddamn equation, and you sit on your left nut with about 842 pounds of pressure per square inch. And you will jump the fuck up real quick. And then fall to the floor. Curl up in a little ball and cry for an hour and a half. Believe me, I've been there. But as I'm getting older, it, it, the gravity situation is getting worse. Because depending on where I'm at and the water level they have set in the tank, your balls will dangle in the toilet water. <laughs> getting old sucks. Look, you don't believe you're getting old. Guys, 38, 39, 40 and up, make a sex tape with your old lady. I guarantee you when you watch it back, your balls never leave the mattress. Your ass might be going up and down, but your balls are just sitting right there on the motherfucking circuit. It's not good. Time is a cruel motherfucker. And, God damn it, you know, you get older, your dick gets up three days a week when you used to fucking watch you shave every day. You know, you fucking can't piss in a straight line for some fucking reason. I don't know, I ain't got no kidney stones or nothing. I don't know why it goes in 18 different fucking directions. Sit on your balls. Everything's fucking popping, cracking, and creaking. And it... and this is why he has his own show to rant at. Lord, save me now from this bullshit. Because all the greats, all the famous people, you know, Jim Morrison, Kurt Cobain, Janis Joplin, Joplin, Mama fucking Cash even, Jimi Hendrix, Kurt, you know, they all died before they hit 40. Which means I got 365 days to get this shit done. Or 366. Yeah. That's not about right. 366 days to make my mark on this world where everybody will remember me. Because all the greats die young. And God damn it, I ain't getting older. My balls can't take it. I digress. Anyway, I think we could close the show with all of that. I mean, good Lord, how, how can you go anymore with that? You can't. It's, it's true, man. Right? Fucking act. Lord. Getting older is a motherfucker, man. It's depressing as shit. But anyway. I, Mommy, my mom and I sat on her balls three times this week. But anyways, you guys, that'll be the end of the show for this week. Be sure to be tuned in for the next time for when Shit Face Saturday comes up. Hopefully, if everything works out, we'll be able to get a few more videos up before freaking next Shit Face Saturday, hopefully. 
I don't believe y'all holders to it. But, ooh, goddamn, that shit is rough. I know, right? <sighs> but if you do like this kind of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you actually like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up as well. It shows us a little bit more support. And holler at us. Leave a fucking message in the comments. Yeah, because... On our Facebook page. Yeah, we do have Facebook, Twitter, and, uh, didn't we have something else? No, I ain't, I ain't got a Snapchat yet, but check us out on Twitter at Phallus, D Phallus, or at Phallus Rex. Or at the Dippers Variety Channel. If you want freaking his everyday life, you go to Phallus, at Phallus Rex. Yeah, three X's. Phallus Rex with three X's. And if you want just regular Dippers Variety Channel stuff, go to the Dippers Variety Channel. That will be both linked in the description below. And honestly, if y'all fuckers don't hit up his Twitter, I ain't got no reason to go on. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, that's pretty much all the time we have for today. We'll pour one more shot and suck it up. Because I know it's probably going to be coming back up later. Exactly. <laughs> fucking suck it up. Mine was going to be cleaning it up. Uh -huh. I ain't fucking stuck. No, no, you didn't say mom. Look, you can't fucking expect a motherfucker to get drunk on his birthday and clean up his own puke. That's just fucking communist cocksucking bullshit. When they're 39, yeah, you can. See, you should deal with? No reason why I need fucking whiskey. Maybe you're. Ah. Whiskey Anyways, once again, friggin' to the. Midget strippers! We're nuts over you little bitches, because we're always short on cash. Well, I was going to. Say the return of shit face Saturday. Oh yeah, well that one. Yeah, yeah, that too. <laughs> As always, <laughs> I'm Palace Rick. Say it. Keep it at your neck. <laughs> and I'm the Anime Dipper. And as always, you guys, stay awesome.